Hi, my name is Norman Kent. I often have the pleasure of living beautiful moments as I am searching for unique creative shots. I want to share this one with you, which happened during the Vertical Record 2015 tryouts at Skydive Chicago. It was the last jump of the event. The sun was low. It looked like it was going to be a beautiful jump. I was primarily doing stills and video for debrief. I was asked to exit Super Floater. My exit would signal the trail plane to exit. While climbing out, I saw the position of the trail plane and I thought this would be an opportunity to create a unique shot. My aircraft had the base in it which was to exit much later than me and the trail plane jumpers. I love the perspective of exiting above the trail plane and watch it go by as I fall past it and other jumpers exit at the same time. As I looked up at their exit, I changed my framing several times for different composition of stills. I tend to be a little violent in my head movements when I do stills. The scene was beautiful. However, I did not feel that I composed the shot properly. I seemed to put the airplanes in the center early, leaving the left of the frame empty. The shot continued to present itself with beautiful clouds and the sun. It was gorgeous all the way around. As the jump ended, I thought to myself, I wish I had captured that motion with my red camera. The camera is the same I use for Hollywood motion pictures and commercials. Moments like these deserve to be captured with this kind of special quality. All I could think of was the shot I did not capture on the high quality as it deserves. But I've been there before. It's a familiar feeling and I'm okay with it. Quite often I don't capture a shot and I have to remember that these magical moments are still ones that I experienced even if they were not captured on film. We landed and celebrated the end of the day and the camp. As I walked into the hangar, I heard several people scream, Let's go again! Everyone chimed in agreement. Yes! I was super excited. I could not believe we had the time, but we got on a 20-minute call. I thought to myself, Is there time to swap cameras and mount the red camera on the helmet and do all the prep associated with it before going? I have to make it work. I focused on getting the camera ready, and as I was doing so, I went over the shot in my mind. What an opportunity to capture a moment lost, or should I say, not lost? What a magical feeling. I looked at everyone who was facing me, then looked outside. I could feel this would be a wonderful experience. I waited for Rook to nod his head, which was the signal for me to go. I let go of the airplane, and just as I suspected, the perspective was beautiful, just like I imagined it. I kept the aircraft on the left side of the frame and let the jumpers exit the right side of my frame. I left just enough space on the left to allow the other aircraft to come in. I slid to the right so jumpers would come in the foreground. And now my scene was perfectly centered with beautiful clouds behind it. Clouds filled my frame so beautifully. The clouds were changing color as we were descending and I could see the sun in the horizon. I rolled over and saw everyone going towards the formation. It just seemed like such a perfect scene. I managed to block the sun with the formation just momentarily, just enough to give it a glimpse. The 
clouds were so beautiful in the background. The whole skydive just seemed so magical. I think the most important thing here was not only that I kept the vision alive, but I also want to remember always that even if I had not captured it with the red camera, this was a beautiful experience to live and to be present for. Captured or not, it is these experiences that make me a lucky man.